Uh, Mr. Souza, Secretary of Navy, it gives me great pleasure to present to you this special award in recognition of your new march, Semper Fidelis. It may interest you to know that used as the only musical composition in the history of our country which has received the official recognition of the government. Thank you, sir. Splendid march, Mr. Souza. Thank you, Mr. Secretary. How are you, Sousa? I hope this little medal will put a stop to all the talk I've been hearing about you planning to leave the Corps. Well, that? You're not thinking of leaving the Marine Corps, Sousa? Yes, sir. But why, man? Why? Because I have five hungry mouths to feed, sir. I have no choice. But great guns, the Marine Corps won't be the Corps without Sousa. I'm sure there must be some very sound arguments against that statement, sir. But for the life of me, I can't think of a single one at the moment. Well, what are you planning to do, Sousa? Go to New York, sir, and organize my own band. But that's the most ridiculous thing I've ever heard of. With every band in the country already driving people crazy with your marches, you ought to be able to live right here in any style you want. I wish that were true, sir. But the melancholy fact is that for my three best-known marches, the Washington Post, High School Cadets, and Semper Fidelis, I received the grand total of exactly $105. The devil, you say? Exactly, sir. Well, that, uh... What about taking the Marine Band on tour again this year? I'm sure the tour will be as successful as ever without me, sir. When do you want to leave? My enlistment will be up in 10 days, Mr. Secretary, as soon after that as possible. Very well. In the meantime, if there's anything we can do to show our appreciation of the work you've done here, let me know. Thank you, sir. I can think of nothing. What was that? And that, sir, was a peculiar instrument known as the sousaphone which is not only unique, but in the opinion of the young man who plays it, indispensable. I suspect he was reminding me that if he also could be discharged... He'd like to go with you? Uh, yes, sir. You'd like to have him? With certain misgivings, yes, sir. How about it, Major? Do you think we can spare this indispensable young man? Well, if that sound he just made is an example of his ability as a musician, I think we might very well make an exception in his case. Then, by all means, let us do so. Thank you, sir. That will be all, Susan. Thank you, sir. 